hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to download and install mx linux on your virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i am currently running poppy linux os raspberry pi oracle linux and elementary os so you can run multiple operating systems here on your host computer so the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox so head to your chrome browser and then search for virtualbox Now click on the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. By the left, click on Downloads. And then you can see VirtualBox for Windows over here. This is for Mac OS, this is for Linux and many other operating systems. So click on Windows and it should start downloading. Now also come down here and you can see VirtualBox Extension Pack. So click on All Supported Platform and it should download the Extension Pack. Now after downloading VirtualBox and VirtualBox Extension Pack, open a new tab and then search for MX Linux. So you can see over here mxlinux.org. So click on that. And then click on the download page over here. So you can see different desktop options for MX Linux. But we are going with the official flagship. So click on the latest version of XFace over here for 64 bits and it should take you to this page you can see it is now downloading the file size is about 1.7 gigabytes i already have this file so i'm just going to cancel so let's close this page and then open our download folder so this is mx linux iso file which we just downloaded i already had this file before now this is virtualbox and this is the extension pack so first install virtualbox i already have virtualbox but i'm just going to install again So I just updated my VirtualBox since I already had it installed but this is the same method for you to install VirtualBox. Now we have to create a new virtual machine by clicking on new up here. Now let's call this machine MX Linux and then set the type to Linux and then set the version to Linux 2.6-3-4-5-64 bits and then click on hardware set the base memory which is the ram to the amount of ram you want to allocate to this machine now i'm going to give it 4.3 gigabytes since i have 16 gigabytes on my pc so you shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer and you won't be able to use your virtual machine and host computer as well now also set the amount of processor cpu you want to allocate to this machine i'm going to give it three since i can run up to eight cpu cores but you can see from 1 to 4 is recommended, from 5 to 8 is not recommended. So at most give it 40% and then go to the hardware section and then set the amount of storage you want to allocate to your virtual machine. So let me give this 77 gigabytes of storage and then click on finish. Now to install the extension pack, click on tools and then click on this toolbar over here. Go to extensions, click on install and then select the extension pack from the download folder open and then install screw down i agree so it has been successfully installed now click back on your mx linux over here so you can see the specs of our newly created machine we have to make few changes so click on settings and then go to system this is the base memory which is the ram you can change whenever you want the processor as well which you can change now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration down here Go to storage and then click on the empty disk under controller over here. On the right, click on this disk icon and then click on choose a disk file. Now this is where we are going to select MX Linux ISO file we downloaded earlier and then open. OK. So once we click on start, we should be able to start the setup. So let's click on it. So you can see MX 21.2.1, that's actually the latest version as at now. So we can just hit enter and it should run. So 
So this is just MX Linux in a live environment. We haven't started the installation. So let's click on install MX Linux over here. So it should scan the installation media and we can begin the installation. Now if you want to change the keyboard settings, you can just click on that and then set your keyboard layout wherever you want there and then apply OK. And then let's click on next. This is the disk we are installing the OS on which we created at the beginning of the video. So let's continue click on next. Now click on yes, it is going to erase the disk and then install MX Linux. Now just give some name to your computer so you can easily identify it on the network. And then just leave the rest field as it is. Now click on next. Set your clock, time zone and every other thing you need to set. I'm just going to go with the default location and everything here. Click on next. Set your login username and the password as well. If you want to set another root administration password, then you can just go with that here. But let's just ignore that. This is the password we are going to use for everything. Now we can enable auto login without password, but let's disable that since we want to log in with password. Click on next. Oops, the username cannot contain. Okay, uppercase and space as well. So let's just remove the space. Okay, next. So we are waiting for the installation, which is currently in progress. The installation is complete. That's how easy it is. So let's click on finish and this should reboot. Now let's remove the installation media. So let's close our machine. Power off. OK. Open VirtualBox. Go to settings and then go to storage. And you can see the disk has been removed automatically so we can just start our machine now normally you should remove the disk yourself whenever you finish with an installation but this is really nice it removes the disk automatically by itself now login with your password and here we go now you can view it full screen just OK, click on view, full screen mode, switch and you can see our machine is looking good. So basically this is how to install MX Linux on your virtual box. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.